Earth greetings, citizens of Super Earth's Trap In, because it's time for a weekly update on a relentless fight in the Second Galactic War. And remember, today's broadcast is brought to you by Liber Iced Tea, the choice beverage for patriots everywhere. One sip and you'll find yourself humming the Federation anthem. This drink, along with other iconic gear, comes from our very own legendary helldiver, Cheshen, at Most Wanted Merch. And this was personally hand-selected by General Brash himself. And Helldivers, when you're on the front lines mowing down hordes of Terminids, or bots of course, but in this instance, do you ever feel like a galactic exterminator? I know I do when I am diving for democracy, and that's why I'm thrilled to announce our next war bond has been released today, the Chemical Agents. Now, this new arsenal brings some lethal toys to the fight. My personal favorite, well, you might ask, but I'll answer it very quickly, the Stim Pistol. It may be on page three. All you have to do, Helldivers, is, is dive and gear up, get those medals, and you'll unlock one of the most faithful weapons, or I hope to try it out tonight, the Stim Pistol. Now, as, if, as we have always done, before we dive into more updates, let's take a moment of silence to honor the brave Helldivers who have fallen in battle. Their names are etched into the walls <clears throat> and halls of super earth forever their bravery a shining example to all to those citizens who have offered their loved ones for the fight your sacrifice brings us cl ever closer to victory with every passing day we remember we honor and we march together stronger bolder and always free and with that being said all right hell divers Plenty more to discuss. So strap into your hell pods and optimize your underpants. This war is not over yet. As I said before, I hope you all are having a wonderful evening. Welcome back again to the Strider of Valor news section where we're going to talk about everything going on in the second galactic war. Now, there is currently no news from the Ministry of Truth. The ongoing major order is still is, is still ongoing with our health divers on the front. We have four days and 14 hours remaining where we're still expanding the net quantity of freedom in the galaxy in order to demonstrate overall force readiness. Now, we must liberate more, more planets than are lost during the order duration. We're sitting at a negative two currently, but I know our hell divers really want those 55 medals. So I, I have complete hope in their strength to amend that. And your personal order for the day, Helldivers, is kill 30 enemies using the Orbital 120 MM HE Barrage to get you so that was 15 medals. Now, as, as you saw earlier, we are currently at 80,000 Helldivers active, which is very exciting. Um, we had a large enlistment force come in recently with the new upgrades on each Helldivers Destroyers. And I must say, I am very excited to see this number being high. And I wish each of you safe dives as you continue to fight and defend Super Earth. And with that being said, what is your favorite weapon currently after the patch? I'm going to have something a little different for you all at this moment where we're going to we're, we're going to do a little Q&A time. If you have any questions, bring them up. But I do want to allow comments in the chats right now that I'll feature on screen and on the video that um, here at the Strider of Valor uh, partner with the Ministry of Truth. We will end up posting tomorrow just to, again, further the reach of this new War Bonds um, release. Anybody have any questions, any comments that you'd like to add to the video? We'll add those in right now. So this is a wonderful question coming from Officer Conco. How do you feel about the gas change? More crowd control than killing. I have heard reports from Helldivers on the field that it is more of a confusion tool. It still does thoroughly eliminate the enemies, Liberty's enemies, of course. But beyond that, our, my, our research will, will be increased tonight as we actually showcase it here on stream. Anybody else have any questions that you'd like to ask or add to this new segment of Strider Valor? Oh, Officer Congo, this is a wonderful question. Your favorite weapon buff so far? Oh, I must say, oh, I currently am in between the Eruptor 
I must say, Helldivers, this is difficult because when you say weapons, I want to say it goes straight to the stratagems because the Eagle 500 KG is quite effective now. Um, I, I really think it was given the democratic upgrade it needed, and um, I'm very excited about that. And uh, the other weapon, con um, Officer Conco, other than the Eruptor, I must say, like, I believe the sickle has been getting really good high reports of, of use on the field and effectiveness. I've heard the laser weapons because the laser weapons now have um, the upgrade that I know we've all been waiting for, specifically the we up weapon upgrade that gives fire faster, which is really good. But um, other than the Eruptor, I must say the railgun. I've really enjoyed it, but I, I, I did learn this Helldivers and Ichi Rangers with me right now. Do not kill a sport charger point blank with a railgun. It just won't work out for you. Uh, life is a resource here, but we do want to see each Helldiver walk away from the mission. So, yes. Now, a rock effect recently asked, what is your favorite stratagem now? Other than the 500 kg, because <laughs> always, yes. I think the O&B is now a personal favorite. The orbital napalm barrage stratagem is a very effective blanket of fire when you need it. And it, 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 it does cut off the enemy, especially when you have a lot of hordes. I find that to be quite effective. And Wix asks, welcome in Wix. Um, very good friend of Emerdy AI. Wix, Wix is very close with her. Now, what other weapons need buffs? With I, with what I'm seeing, I did hear some of the breakers who did not get the normal magazine counts that they had um, before um, shortages. So we'll just we'll just see what happens with that. I'm not currently sure um, on other weapons that need buffing currently. I'm still receiving reports, um, reading all the Ministry of Defense channels along with the Ministry of Prosperity because they do receive more civilian reports, which interfaces with the Helldivers, obviously, because their family's back on Super Earth. So uh, th that is a very fair question, though. Thank, thank you, Wix. Thank you. Officer Conco, wonderful question. We got a lot of recruits back, but we s still lost two defense missions, like I mentioned earlier, on the bot side. Now, he asked, any thoughts on that, or can we improve Helldivers to work together? I do believe Helldiver co um, cohesion and unification, but strategic planning is involved. Um, we're here at the Strider Valor um, news segment station here. It, we're partnering with the Freedom Alliance, which does promote working together, working for the major orders and making sure they are completed effectively and efficient, efficiently. So that's a great source for you f to find out strategies and how to rally with Helldivers. But I do also believe it's something on the democracy officers and um, not so as a ministry of defense because democracy officers, they are on the field like myself when I drop and it involves communication and making sure that's done effectively. And teamwork, of course, is... Um, very important when you're dropping on these, especially with teaming and planets that need defending, I think are very, very important. Now, we'll mention this. I think this is a great, a great, the slugger. The slugger, I, the research I've done on this, I, I would agree. It does need some upgrades from the Ministry of Defense, but the Ministry of Science, I believe they are cooking up some things for us. So we'll just see with reports that come out. Oh, Officer Conco, what a wonderful question. How many times a day do you think about freedom and democracy? I, uh, I very quite often listen to um, Super Earth Anthem, very often. Also, the Helldivers um, Liberty song that a lot of them listed on their um, drops for Super Earth when, before they drop behind enemy lines. I must say, I, I think about it more than three or even four times a day because I'm always praying. I'm always thinking for the welfare of our Helldivers on the front. Now, Will also wanted to mention this about the slugger he recently commented on. He said it needs a revert. Maybe we need to check up on that. Maybe we need to do, do some testing on the field. And we'll, we'll invite Will and off, Officer Will and Officer Conquer, part of our Rangers of Super Special Forces, as we dive to discuss that. For those of you who are joining us, thank you for joining this new segment today. Stay vigilant, stay ready, stay steady, and we'll see you very soon as we dive for democracy. Thank you, Rangers and Helldivers, for choosing us to be your Super Earth Update Network. And we want you to join us Tuesday and Thursday nights at 8 p.m. CST for drops wherever Super Earth requires. Our Discord link is below, and we would like to enlist you with our Rangers of Super Earth Special Forces. Dive safe and see you in the next news video. Best of the best. Live up to your name.